Hi everybody, this is Orlando Mergal with Puerto Rico by GPS. Last time we were at Fort San Cristobal, the largest military structure built by the Spaniards in the New World. Today we are at Fort San Felipe del Morro, and while it's not as large, it's certainly more imposing. So let's take a look. Fort San Felipe del Morro is a 16th century fortification built by the Spaniards on the westernmost tip of San Juan Islet. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to San Juan Bay, and in doing so, the entire southern coast of the city of San Juan. Fort San Cristobal protected the eastern side of the city. On the north, there are so many reefs that any attempt of landing there would have been suicide. El Morro is a six-level fort. At its highest point, it rises 145 feet above sea level. However, you can hardly tell when you approach the main gate. This is because the entrance to the fort is actually through level 5. When you arrive at Fort San Felipe del Morro, there's a concrete bridge that goes over a dry moat. In Spanish colonial times, this was actually a drawbridge that when raised served as additional protection over the fort doors. Now, imagine for a moment that you are a 17th century general thinking about attacking this fort from the eastern side. Your soldiers would have to go over the front lawn, which is actually called the glasses, where there's no place to hide, place a ladder on the outside edge of the moat, climb down with their backs towards the fort, cross the moat, and then climb up the fort walls. In the meantime, there would be Spanish soldiers armed with cannons, crossbows, muskets, and anything else they could throw at you, and of course, to get there, you would have needed to breach Fort San Cristobal's security in the first place. Not an easy task. From the west, it was even worse. Imagine yourself aboard a 17th century galleon trying to enter San Juan Bay. On your left, you would have Fort San Felipe del Morro with five levels of firepower all pointing at you. And on your right, you would have Fort San Juan de la Cruz, better known among the locals as El Cañuelo, shooting from the other side. Now, why did the Spaniards deploy all this military might in Puerto Rico? The words Puerto Rico mean rich port, which the island actually was during the 16th, 17th, and 18th century. Why? Because of its geographical position. Puerto Rico was the first port of call for ships coming to America and the last for ships returning to Europe. And the most important cargo that went through the island was the Situado Mexicano. The Situado Mexicano was actually all the golden riches that Hernán Cortés and his cronies plundered from the Aztecs, and the last stop for all that treasure before sailing to Europe was San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now, the purpose of this video isn't to explain every aspect of Fort San Felipe del Morro. You'll find plenty of materials that achieve that purpose upon entering the fort. What I did want to do was to whet your appetite because there's nowhere else in the world like Fort San Felipe del Morro. I even went across the bay and shot some footage from the old leper hospital in the town of Cataño so you could see firsthand how awesome this fortress looks from the sea. This video is by no means a complete or official representation of all the interesting things that you'll see at Fort San Felipe del Morro. It only represents my impressions as a tourist. However, Fort San Felipe del Morro is operated by the U.S. National Park Service, so there are trained rangers everywhere who will answer your every question. They also conduct periodic tours of the park, so be sure to check out their schedules. For more information and park hours, call 787-729-6777. So there you have it, Fort San Cristobal and Fort San Felipe del Morro, the two most important military structures built by the Spaniards in Puerto Rico. If you're coming to Puerto Rico on a cruise ship, that's probably all you'll have time to see. But if you're coming on an airplane, you'll have plenty of time. 
So take a look around Puerto Rico by GPS because there's hundreds of interesting places that you'll want to see. For Puerto Rico by GPS, this is Orlando Mergal. Thanks for watching.